Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Leo Wamboy and in case the first time you're seeing this beautiful face, kindly subscribe, click that red button and also click the post notification bell so that every time I post, you'll be the first one to be notified. Miss Inconsistency is back. Full force. I don't even have anything to say because... <laughs> I'm even ashamed of myself because uh, it has been long, it has been a minute. <laughs> to share with you my experience of living alone or rather moving out at my early 20s it has been um three months now and uh, i've kind of experienced how it is living uh moving out at your early 20s and um i guess i'm ready to tell you guys my experience of living alone at my early 20s and in case you are living alone or that you moved out at your early 20s and you have something to add on whatever i'm going to say kindly comment down below and also if you have any questions write them down below in the comment section i will answer your questions so my experience it's it's a great experience it's a very very good experience because one you learn to be responsible that is one because you find sometimes you have a class at seven in the morning and as i earlier stated on in my previous videos that i live like it's dirty bob from where i live to the school gate and after entering the school gate or rather after reaching the school gate it doesn't mean that you have arrived in school no 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 no. you have to walk for around 20 to 30 minutes depending on where you're going or rather where your class is so you get you have to if i have a class at seven that means i have to wake up so early in the morning or rather very early in the morning so that i take a mat from where i live to the school gate that's that you bomb then from the school gate to where my class is and most of the times <laughs> where my class is it's it's the farthest corner or rather it's the farthest place in the school so i have to walk for around 20 minutes so how do i manage that it's all about um time management and planning if you have planned yourself so well it will be so easy for you because some of my classmates are usually like ha leah you even arrived earlier than us and we are in school um i'm like how am i supposed to answer that or the, how am i supposed to react to that i just tell them i just manage myself because they are like how do you manage to come so early and you live so far away from not like so far away it's not that far from the school but you get because there's that craziness when you are in school you have a class at seven then it's so cold when you wake up you're just like mm, i don't feel like going for that class I don't feel like doing that but now um i'm sure i'm sure you get what i'm talking about like there's that car laziness while in school like in the hostels you just feel you just don't feel like going then you wake up there are so many people waiting to go and take a bath Ugh. you're like ah I just quit <laughs> so for me i just manage myself i know when to wake up depending on when i have the class if the class is is at um 7 a.m in the morning i have to wake up at around 5 so that i prepare and by 6 i should be out of my place another thing is um my experience um hmm, let's see i've experienced that you're supposed to plan yourself like in terms of food because um you know i'm a student right and uh how i am living depends on my classes like for example i have I have some classes from 6 to 7 in the evening that is p.m 6 to 7 p.m so before i leave my place i need to know what i'm going to eat for supper because you know that that um confusion of you are out of school you have come to a place you don't even know what to eat you don't have the onions you don't have the tomatoes you don't even have anything that you can prepare that so bad that is so bad so i have learned that i need to plan myself and i have to be responsible on my own you know 
when you're living with your parents um i'm sorry i have some i'm getting some flu because of that early waking early early in the morning taking a cold shower and all that but i'm coping up with it i'm okay <laughs> so yeah you know okay i was saying uh you know that feeling of when um you used to go home if that's you are in you are at home um you get your parents have prepared something to eat you eat you take a shower and then you you just sleep or they do your, your assignments and all that here when you're living alone you have no one like you have no one you have no one and it's something that you knew before you moved out that you'll be living alone and you won't be depending on anyone so it's you yourself and you <laughs> what do i mean it's me myself and i i need to plan myself i need to know what i'm supposed to eat in the evening and also when i have the morning classes i need to know what i'm going to take for breakfast since i'm waking up so so early in the morning yeah another thing uh my experience of living uh, or rather moving out at my early 20s um yeah i'm saying that it's so easy but to some people it might not be easy because you miss your parents you are living alone you are used to maybe in living in hostels and you have people around you all through it's not like i don't have people around me i have people around me but the people around me they're not like in school you get my neighborhood they are not in school the people are done with their school and they are working yeah something like that so another thing um hmm, let me see have i talked about time management have i talked about that another experience is to do with the time management because um for example at that time okay the examples that i'm giving you guys is because it's of what i'm experiencing like yeah i hope you get me for example let's say um after that class the evening class from six to seven i need to know when i'm supposed to leave from school because you know if i have a class from six to seven that means after that class i immediately have to walk towards the gate for me to go and get a matato to come to my place so that i eat i drink I eat a drink wa I eat that is I prepare food I take a shower and afterwards I can do my assignments I hope you get what I'm talking about that's all about time management you have to know the duration of time that you take when going to your place and when going to school so that you don't even get late to class because you might get late to class and there are people people are like this and you really need to you really wanted to attend the class but there are so many students in the class such that you can't even hear what the lecturer is saying and all that but then i'm going to carry you guys with me to my school i study at Egerton university yep and i'm so proud to be in that university i love it <laughs> yeah it's it's molding me to be someone better in the future another thing about the experience of living alone is that <laughs> you have to do your shopping in or rather on time yeah that's something that i've learned like when you're doing your shopping you know for us ladies or rather even male by the way when you buy something like um bathing soap or um body uh, lotion you buy it and then you are like um next month i don't have to buy a body lotion because i have one and then the, the next month passes then the the ne the wait the first month you buy the the body lotion then you say next month or next month but one i don't have to buy the lotion and you forget to put some money aside to buy that lotion in case the lotion is done so this has this actually happened to be this is something that you really need to like put in consideration when you have bought something and it's extra you need to put some money in case that thing that you bought might get finished at the middle of the month and you had not 
saved money to buy the oil because you are like ah it's a lot i can use it for one two three months no 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 my sister my brother kindly put some money aside for you not to be disappointed that the oil has finished in the middle of the month and you don't have money to buy the oil or even the gas by the way you might have a gas it might go for three three months but you forget in your budget you forget to save that money like that amount of money for the gas and it ends or rather it finishes at the middle of the month what do you do you get disappointed you don't have money you get frustrated and that is bad so you need to put uh, some money aside for such things i hope you get me out here you'll meet people like if you're living outside the school you'll meet people who are not working ah uh, who are not in school like you you'll meet people who are not students like um you are in a society or a community whereby there it's not like it's only students that are there i don't know whether you're getting me like in school you're living in the hostels and all of you are are students you get me but outside here all of my neighborhood or rather my neighbors they are not all students i don't know whether you're getting me they are not all students excuse me they are not all students and sometimes you might get confused and forget who you are i've not forgotten who i am but i've seen people who have gone through that like you find that you're living outside and where you're living there are no students so you just start to behave like you are not one you find yourself not attending classes you find yourself not uh bothering to go to school and that is bad that's where you learn how to be determined my the other experience is learning how to be determined and focus on what you want because when you move out you really need to be determined on your on your schedule you need to follow your schedule you need to focus on what you want to do because you might go outside and find that there are no other students you are the only one maybe or you are two of you or three because you know there's that motivation when you're living in school and there are other students they wake up early in the morning to go to class and you still have a class but you can't you can't uh, like hesitate to go to class because there's that motivation and pressure of other people when they are going to class so outside here you need to be focused and determined in what you are doing like your main aim for example for me i know my aim, my main aim is to is being a student to study and um focus to uh excel in my studies that's it but if i forget about that that means things will go bad and that's another thing the experience that i've learned is that you're supposed to is it an experience really something that i've learned is supposed is that i'm supposed to be determined and focused or rather you are supposed to be determined and focused when you go outside there uh, another experience um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah this is another one um when i'm going to class or rather to school that early in the morning i might not get a mat a matatu on time i usually feel so bad and um with that sometimes i'm like if i was in school i would have just woken up taken a shower and go to class it would be that easy now i'm here struggling or rather waiting for a matatu to come like at that period of time the period of time when i'm waiting for that matatu and when it comes <laughs> there's a lot of things that go through my mind i'm like oh, no Mm -mm. if i was in school this would be like if i was in school this but most of the times when i say if i was in school it's early early in the morning when i want to go to school and i don't want to get late for the morning classes that's all guys so guys that is all for today in case you're new here kindly subscribe please 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 let's get to a thousand subscribers and in case you have any questions of living alone at your early 20s kindly uh, comment down below in the comment section and i will be glad to answer all, all your questions um yeah always remember to be kind and do good to people till next time bye guys i love you so much Mwah.